off with it. I played, I think I played basketball, but I was just, I just still, I was, I kept rapping because my brother was doing it. I think that's what made me start rapping. Yeah, my last arrest was um the best thing that happened to me. Yeah, cause it taught me how to not smile a lot. It taught me how to write fast. Shit. It taught me how to not have feelings. Oh, um, it really taught me how to not want nobody to be there for me at all. Cause when somebody to be there for you, you gon' wind up hurting yourself or uh, mind fucking yourself. So it just taught me shit like that. I was trying to do a song a day, then it went to one song every two days. Then I think about two songs a week. Time on lockdown. I was on lockdown for 23 hours and 45 minutes a day. I only got 15 minutes out myself for about three, four months straight. All because of who I was. I wasn't tripping though. I tried to do push ups, but I can't get no bigger. But I was mostly on the phone. Lil' in Montana. I would say that. I feel like that they baby got on the really watch me. But after I dropped what I was taught in so long, then I say, yeah. Which one drop first? Third day, baby, and what I was taught. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I ain't tripping after all. I, I was mad. I was in my I was in my kill mode. I, was, I wanted to kill everybody. But, yeah, it was crazy. I was mad. I was just speaking on how I felt. Like, I, I felt like everybody was trying to get me shit like that. I was. I was in that same mind state, but I was trying to, like, really tell how I feel on that. You hear me? Because... Eli, Eli, Eli the one who signed me to Atlantic, right? So check this out. I never get to pick the songs I want on my CD. So basically, when they dropped it, it made me mad. So I felt like, you know what? Three days, four, five, I think a week later, I want to drop my own mixtape. So I dropped it for vouchers only. Straight gangster shit. I was on House Rush and um, Zoe, Zoe did. Zoe really, he, um, he died while I was in jail. I was on House Rush and Zoe had called my phone. This was right before I cut my house with this person off. The so called my phone. He was like, hey, hold on, hold on. I got somebody want to talk to you. Uh, so when he clicked me over, it was, it was Gates. He was like, hey, you know, he was like, he was like oh, he, that nigga told me. So he say, ooh, I'm feeling you. And I'm like, huh? And he was like, he was like, he fucking with what I'm doing and shit like that. He was like, don't stop. So I, man, that nigga told me that I say about, man, literally, literally, I say about one month later, I was getting signed. Crazy, made me feel like he had, he had pointed them in my direction like that. Like, hey, watch that dude or something. Shit fucked me up. Yeah, I ain't gonna tell him I was finna blow. He like, just don't stop. Like, he just knew, like, they was like, they was finna come get me or some shit. You hear me? I connected with Boosie, um, I think in California at Big Baby Davis condo. But shit, I've been, I've been to his house and shit since I've been, um, out. We done had talks and shit, but I ain't gonna speak on that. That's some. You know, that's some street shit.